Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the easiest grits in the world. It's the Quaker Oats grits that cook in five minutes. So first, you'll need about two cups of water if you want to make a large bowl. If you want to make two bowls, use two and a half cups of water. There's two cups of water. And just let it boil. I like to add my salt in it as well. So I will be adding one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add one half of teaspoon. I don't need all that salt. But you do want it to have some type of taste to it. So we don't need all that. So we're going to just use one and a half teaspoon of salt. With two cups of water in here. I added my salt and all you need is about one fourth teaspoon of salt. That's all you need for this. You don't want it to be too salty. Add a half a cup of grits. Be sure your owl is on medium or medium low because grits do burn. I mean pop. <laughs> they do pop and boil and they will pop you. And just keep stirring, stirring it. Stirring it. <laughs> keep stirring. I like my stick sometimes. Um, sometimes I like it creamy as well. Uh, but I feel like today I want it to be like in between. So as you're stirring, you will feel your grits starting to thicken up. You don't have to sit over the stove and keep stirring, but if you do do this, this will make your grits really, really creamy and it won't be gritty like. Have you ever had some grits that was so gritty, like every time you try to bite it gets stuck in your teeth or on the side of your mouth? <laughs> That's because the grits are not fully cooked. Now if you have a microwave, it's simple and really easy to just cook it in the microwave. But I do really love mine's cooked on the stove. It just seems like it's more personal to me. Now it's going to get thicker. We are going to add some more water. But I just want it to just kind of cook in its own, you know. I, can't, I don't know the word for it. But I just want it to just cook. Five minutes in and it is boiling now. So you now you want to really take that spoon and start stirring it because if not it's going to start sticking see it's getting thicker now just stir it for a good 30 seconds let it start boiling again once it starts boiling give it a good another give it a good minute and then start stirring it again for 30 seconds and just re keep repeating that process until it just completely starts to thicken up now mine is really getting thick it's eating up all the water and that's what we want so just keep stirring it this is longer than five minutes guys <laughs> This is like if you want it like just the way you want it, like it's longer than five minutes. Don't trust the box. That's if you're cooking it on high. And we're just cooking it on slow. See, this is where it's going to start popping. So if you have a top one for your stove, go ahead and put that on. Turn your owl all the way down to low because if you're, cause you're not stirring it up. So if you put it on low, it'll cook so slow that it won't even burn your grits at all. And then check on it every 30 seconds or minute. But I'm not afraid to get burnt. <laughs> I be like, it's like I be I be training myself to know where the bubbles or the grits are gonna pop at, and it just never pops me. I'm a grits person. I love grits a lot. And 
just keep stirring. This is another way you can get keep the grits from popping you, is just keep stirring it. Make it go around in circles. Like that. Like a swirl. <laughs> You can use a plasticware. Sorry, y'all, if I'm using that, I'm using a spoon, and it might be kind of cringy, <laughs> the sound. So the grits are steadily getting thicker, and they're going to get even thicker. So now we need to add some more water. Because if you take them off now, they're not. They're going to be still like gritty like. So I'm going to add one fourth of water. There we go. And our grits are almost done. Now this can be one big old bowl or you can split it up in four bowls or even two large bowls or medium sized bowls sorry so after I added the one fourth of water I'll let it cook for three minutes and then remove it now what I do with my grids is I add a lot of black pepper because there's something about the grits and black pepper that I just love. Like, I just love the black pepper. I don't know why. <laughs> it tastes so good. So I'll add that on top of my grits. I'll add about a half a teaspoon of unsalted butter. And that's about it. You can add like bacon. You can add some eggs on top. Now I'm going to turn my owl off and just let it cook on the stove without it being on so it doesn't burn. said that I got from Dollar Tree all this was a dollar a piece so I got the big plate the little saucer and then I have a little bowl which is cute it's cute especially for the fall so I'm gonna pour my grits inside of my bowl not burn so grits are so easy to make one day I'll show you guys a video on how to make the grits where it literally takes almost 30 minutes 45 minutes to cook so but these are just some easy grits that you can cook within about 10 to 15 minutes and you still get that creamy taste as if it was just you know the uh, grits from the other package that takes longer <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys the finishing product. Butter on there. Now I'm going to add some black pepper. And so as I'm eating it, I like to like move my grits around, stir my grits up, and then continue to add the black pepper inside of it. I don't know why I don't add it on the stove. It feels like it just takes away the flavor of the black pepper, and I just like that freshness. So that's why I like to add it as I eat it. 
So that is the end of this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it was easy for you, and I hope you try it at home. And if you do, please go ahead and comment down in the comment section below. And if you don't try it and you like the recipe, comment down in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.